Hello, uh, Brad Havemeyer here, Hollywood acting coach. Today we're going to talk about something that's uh, important to a lot of our viewers, and that is how to use acting techniques. How to use the art, science, and craft of acting to pass mathematics. Or you can extend this to any other one of those subjects where there's numbers and equations and all this where you have to show your work, things like this. Most of us learn very, fairly quickly that math is more or less useless. I mean, other than what you can count on your fingers or money, a waste of time, it's boring, uh, the, the people that teach it uh, tend to be boring, they drone on and on, there are much more interesting things to use your mental power thinking about, but uh, nevertheless, frequently, they will not let you graduate unless you do fairly well or at least pass math. So I'm going to show you some acting techniques now to get through math, and I want you to watch me very closely. These will save your bacon. Now, frequently, they'll, they'll have these formulas on the board, quadratic equation, I think one of them is called, and they, they put things, and there's an X on one side, and there's a Y, and then they have a, they'll have an A. I mean, they're mixing alphabet letters with numbers, and they, they expect you to understand something like that. So they'll have these weird equations where on one side it's... Anyway, I'm going to show you what to do. First off, these math folks love it. If you indicate that you love math, that you just love it, that you want to learn math, you can't wait to utilize math in your daily life, it's just so great. But you're frustrated. This is important. You love it. I love, oh, but you're frustrated. You really want to enter the world of math. But you're frustrated. You can't quite get in. They love that. They love if you really, really, really show that you want to learn math. So I'm going to show you what to do. So frequently they'll have these quizzes, a jumble of numbers, incomprehensible. You'll have multiple choice. Go ahead down the whole row and you just pick C for all of them. You know, frequently you're going to end up getting maybe, if it's a quiz, you might end up with, you know, a 30, maybe a 35, something like that. Just by happenstance, you'll get that. Then, of course, at the end of the quiz period or the next day when they're handing out those quizzes, the teacher's going to go around and they're going to say, Nancy, great job, you know, and hand it to some, you know, person who has an easy time with, you know, they just love math and blah, 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 and they, Nancy got, you know, maybe she got a half a point off. It would have been a 99, Nancy, but you, you know what I'm saying. People like that. They'll go through all that. The teacher will go and they'll, they'll march around the room like, you know, a prince or so, and just slapping down the quizzes here and there and they'll get to you. And if you do my plan where it's all C on the quiz, you'll end up somewhere in the 30, 35, 40 range. You'll get it, right? Of course, that's not a passing grade. So if you continue to do that throughout the semester, you'll end up failing. And then the worst part about failing, you have to go back again and take the same course again the course you didn't understand the first time, you have to do again, and then you still don't understand it, and it's a nightmare, and parent-teacher conferences, and he just doesn't get it, and then your mother's like, yeah, he took him a long time to be potty trained, and you know, all these things. You don't want to go through all of that. So at your first bad quiz, you want to bring the quiz up to the teacher, and you want to show it right here. You want to show your concern. So watch me. I work so hard on it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. You see what I'm doing? Right here. I don't know why. I really want to learn it. I want to be a math wizard. But I can't do it. I need extra help. This is what you need to do. You need to tug on their heartstrings. All right? Using acting techniques 
to pass math. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.